Hey, 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 hey. Oh, so it's gonna be like that, huh? Well, fine then. You know, for four ninety eight a minute, you think she'd be a little nicer? But Don, why do you waste money like that? You know, lots of girls who dish you for free. Okay, Jeff, you all set for work? Sure am, Miss Faye. But you know what I realized this morning? What? Is that we've been living here almost a month already. You know what that means? Uh-huh, your rent's due. Oh, I see you two have a lot to talk about. Peace. <laughs> well, what I meant was I've been a trainee at the club for a month now. Mm-hmm, and you're doing a wonderful job, John. Wonderful. Well, see, that's great because it's important for me to be a wonderful trainee if I'm going to be, well, you know, a wonderful more than a trainee. You mean manager? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, manager. <laughs> Jeff, you just started working at the club, and you have to show real leadership to be a manager, and you got to prove yourself. But I proved myself in college. I got an A in management. But what did you get in people skills? Miss Page, they don't teach a course in that. That's why you're still a trainee. I'm glad we had this little chat. Miss <laughs> Page. Look. I know you've been working hard, but to be a manager, you have to be sure of yourself and confident. And look at you, child. You couldn't even come out and ask me to make you manager. All right, Miss Page, just like this. Now, I'm dedicated, I've done a good job, and I can have the more responsibility. Miss Page, I want to be manager. Sorry, baby. You're not ready yet. <laughs> you feel like having fun, and your day is done. Working too hard, being stressed. Through the mind, pulling you out of the mix. Things that you want to get fixed. Come on down to Chelsea's Park. Oh, where the music is hot. Back in the latest. Oh, somewhat. The girl who made it. The girl behind the bar. I got a coast over to you guys. Hey, Angus. Yeah, Angus. Everybody, I'm in love. <gasps> Angus, you met a girl? More than just a girl, Jeff. A girl with a job? <laughs> her name's Linda. I met her in biology class, and she's lovely. Hey, now, Angus, when do we get to meet her? Well, she's come to the club on Friday, and this is where I need you guys' help, because this girl loves to dance, and I don't know any of these American dancers. Well, you came to the right place, Angus, because when the B-Man hits the dance floor, everybody clears out. <laughs> It may have just been your cologne. <laughs> hey, I'll teach you. Check it out. You think you can do this? Check it out? Mm -hmm. hey. What in tarnation is that? That's the Roger Rabbit. That looks more like the Roger Ebert. <laughs> Look, I better take over. Come on in. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I started with him. He's mine. Now go ahead, Angus. Shake your little cocktail, baby. Come on. Okay, Let me see. Okay. Shake your cocktail, baby. <laughs> Well, he's all yours. <laughs> Who do I have to know to get a drink in here? Nate, how you doing? Uh-uh, that can't be Nate Harris. Hey, Chelsea girl. How have you been, baby? I'm not answering any questions until I get a hug. Oh, you got that. <laughs> oh, everybody, this is Nate Harris, the best musical director I ever had. And the best babysitter I ever had. So far, baby. So far. <laughs> You. I bet you got a lot of young cats chasing after you. And some young dogs, too. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> this is the dog, Angus. And this is Jeff. He's working at the club as a trainee. Yeah, for now. Still not ready, Jeff. <laughs> so how long did you and Miss Chelsea work together? Fifteen years. Whoa, are we really that old? You might be baby, but I'm not. <laughs> 
Kelsey, you recorded your first LP in 1965. Oh, stop it right there, Angus. So, mate, what brings you to L.A.? I came to see how my two favorite girls are doing. We are doing fine, just fine. What have you been up to? A little this, a little that. Right now, I'm kind of between gigs. Oh. So when's your next engagement coming up, Nate? Oh, I got a pencil in for early 94. <laughs> Well, Miss Payne, since Nate has a little time on his hands, maybe get up us out here. Good idea. What did you have in mind? Well, there will be a trainee position opening up soon. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> You've been talking about hiring another bartender. Nate, can you mix drinks? I mix a few in my day. Well, what do you say, Miss Payne? I think that's a good idea, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad I came up with it. You know, I was showing my leadership skills. <laughs> One might say that I was proving myself. <laughs> One might. Jeff, do you think you could show Nate the ropes? Oh, I think I can manage that. <laughs> hey, sir. I thought I'd give Angus a dance lesson. It's kind of like that movie, The Miracle Worker. <laughs> Where's Nate? Oh, he's not here yet, but man, I can't wait to get started. You see, if I can do a good job training Nate, Chelsea's got to make me manage. Hey, fellas. Hey, oh, yo, hey. hey. Come on back here, man. What's up? I'm starting to worry about you. Why? Am I a little late? An hour and a half. Whoa. Listen, don't worry about it, though. Now, listen. Oh, you don't wear a watch? Don't wear a watch because of Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. I love Marvin Gaye. Yeah, we was in the studio trying to lay down the track for a song, and it just wasn't happening. So someone said to Marvin, man, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Why don't we call it a day? And Marvin said to him, music don't know what time it is. <laughs> right, listen, let's start by mixing some drinks first, okay? Now, why don't we pretend that Vidal and Angus are customers? C can I pretend that we have a bunch of girls with us? Sure. Can they have a drink, too? Just order a drink. Uh, uh, beer. I'll have a beer. I'll have a Rob Roy. You know who used to order Rob Roy? Roberta Flack. Roberta Flack. I love Roberta Flack. We was in Memphis one time. You know what? I bet there's a great story there. But listen, let me show you how to work this cash register. See, what you do is... Skinny go... Chesterfield. No, man. <laughs> I was trying to remember who you remind me of. Skinny Chesterfield was our road manager. We was on tour with Tom Jones. Tom Jones. My mother loves Tom Jones. <laughs> well, it was the What's New Pussycat tour. You know, maybe you can tell me that story while we wash these dirty glasses. See, we put the dirty glasses... Well, how's it going, you two? Oh, just great. You know, I was just showing Nate... How Chelsea, you... you remember Skinny Chesterfield? Tom, I haven't heard that name in years. Remember the night he was supposed to drive the bus to Columbus, Ohio? And instead he drove us to Columbus, Georgia? <laughs> <laughs> Six. He married that one girl twice. You know, she used to be married to that bass player, Bobby, what's his uh, name? Uh, Bobby the Bobo? Yeah, that's oh, it. Yeah, uh -huh. You know, I can remember one time it was me, Bobby, yeah. Jimmy. Uh-huh. No, no, it wasn't Jimmy. Cricket. It was, uh, uh, uh so Tito Fuente. Yes. Yeah, we were supposed to be in Cleveland. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. The Majestic, you know. Wait, wait. No, no, you know, remember that three-finger salad girl? <laughs> See, Angus, when I'm dancing, I pretend I'm a cop. And I start out by moving my hips. <laughs> Not too fast, though. You kind of want them to find their own groove. <laughs> While I hypnotize my unsuspected prey. <laughs> then I strike. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. <laughs> what do you think, man? Whatever it is, a little ointment should clear right up. Domino. Damn. What you learn to play like that? I used to play with Cool in the Gang. That was a rough tour. We only had two hotel rooms. Cool stayed in one, the gang stayed in another. Man, it was ugly, really ugly. Nate, that was a cool story, but man, there's a guy over here who's waiting for a drink. I hear you. Man, you look as low as Barry White's voice in the morning. <laughs> it shows, huh? Look like you could use a friend. I have one, man. He's dating my girlfriend now. Whoa. Yeah. Here, let me give you a drink on the house. Nate, 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 Nate. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, with the music going, it's hard for me to hear sometimes, but I thought I heard you say on the house. I did. Well, Nate, look at this cash register. There's no button for on the house. <laughs> well, you see, Jeff, that's because on the house means free. Is he nice? Uh, sure is. Miss Page, can I talk to you for a second? You're still not ready, Jeff. No, that's not it. That's not it. Although I am ready. Um, it's Nate. How's he doing? Well, he's doing... It's kind of like... See, he's kind of weird, isn't he? What do you mean? Well, see, he's been here a few days now. And I keep trying to explain to him the basis of his job, but he doesn't seem to get it. Maybe you're not explaining it to him right. 
I'm going to go over and talk to them for you. Thanks, Miss Trace. You see, Jeff, that's why you're still a trainee. <laughs> oh, Miss Trace, Miss Trace, Miss Trace. <laughs> you, know, you know, that's not what I meant. You know, I was just letting you know how things are going around here. I'll take care of it. I'll use my people skills. Mm. <laughs> Sir, you work here? Yes. Is Chelsea around? I'd like to congratulate her on what a unique concept she has here. A club where you can't get a drink. If you hand me a glass, I'll serve myself. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Oh, Troy, can you take care of this gentleman for me, please? Sure. Wait, wait, in a minute. I gotta give this money to Nate for the football pool. Football pool? Yeah. I'll give it to him. Cindy, like I told Shaka Khan, drop the dude. Shaka Khan, I love Shaka Khan. <laughs> But well, what if I never find anyone else? Look, there's a cat over there at the bar who feels as slow as you do tonight. Maybe you two can cheer each other up. Nate, can I see you a minute, please? Sure, Jeff. Thank you. Nate, this is Troy's money for the football pool, which I didn't know anything about. Sorry. Do you want to pick a square? <laughs> no, look, Nate, let me tell you how things work around here, okay? Now, if a busboy spills a drink on someone, the busboy looks bad, I look bad, the club looks bad, and Miss Page looks bad. Whoa. All because the cat spills a drink? Yeah. That's heavy. Who spilled it? <laughs> Nate, I was talking about you. Me? what I do? Look, now, I know you and Miss Page go back a long way, so this is not personal. It's just about the club and how things work. What's the problem? Look, you don't come to work on time. You're never at your station. You're always playing games with the customers. They seem to enjoy it. Well, that's not the point. I think it is. This is a nightclub. People are supposed to have fun. Speaking of fun, I was at the Newport Jazz Festival one time with Quincy Jones and... Nate, Nate, Nate. You've got to start doing your job. Relax, man. Everything will be fine. No, everything won't be fine. We are running a business here. So? So, there are rules. And if you're going to work here, you have to follow. I'm sorry, man. I'm not that kind of cat. I don't follow any rules. Well, then, Nate, I think you should move on. That's cool. I've been fired before. Hey, Jeff, did you talk to Nate? Uh, yeah, yeah, we talked. I've got to hand it to you, Jeff. Hiring Nate was a brilliant idea. It sure was. It shows real leadership skills. You keep this up, Jeff, and you get that promotion sooner than you think. Oh, you know, I wouldn't hang this whole promotion thing on that. <laughs> the man did say it was a temporary thing, you know, just between gigs. He always says that, but I know Nate. When he finds a place that he likes, he settles in forever. Forever, a week, three days. What's the difference? <laughs> I mean, the important thing is that we all got to meet him. <laughs> Where's Nate, man? Miss Page, can we talk in your office? I think we better. <laughs> Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Well, I had a talk with him, just like we discussed. And? And I told him that if he wanted to work here, he had to follow the rules. Uh-huh, go on. And, well, you know, he, he left. What do you mean, he left? Well, you know, he, he left. He went away. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that you fired Nate? Now, Miss Faith, now, before you get upset, you have to understand something. Now, he was late every day. He was ignoring customers, and he was giving away free drinks. You fired Nate? Miss Page, this is a business. And I learned in my management class that if you have an employee who's cutting into your profits, you got to make a change. Without giving him a second chance? I gave him plenty of chances. Just didn't work out. So you decided this all by yourself without talking to me? Well, I was trying to show some leadership. Honey, you're not the manager. You're a trainee. I know that, but you even said yourself that I should be confident and sure of myself. Now, how can I do that if I always have to come to you first? Well, look, I'm not happy about this. And I'm not going to be a hypocrite. So if you made the decision, let's just hope it was the right one. Thanks. Oh, by the way, would this be a good time to talk about my promotion? Well, don't you make me come out these pumps now. <laughs> Look at this. Cash register, balanced. Customer wants a drink, customer gets a drink, customer pays for drink. Now that's management. The car's well away. The chip and jack. People are mad at you for firing Nate. Okay, so they're mad at me, but see, out of that anger comes respect. Yo, Troy, what's up? Can't engage in any unnecessary conversation. I'm on the clock, Mr. Carlswell. Mm. They love you, Jeff. Hey, Jeff, some gentlemen need to see you at table six. I'm on it, boss. Gentlemen! What can I do for you? Hey, man, where's Nate? 
Uh, I'm sorry, Nate doesn't work here anymore. Is there anything I can get for you? Nate. <laughs> Sir, well, I'm sure you guys must have come in here for something other than Nate. No, Nate. Well, what did you need Nate for? I brought my friends in to watch Nate play dominoes. Well, let's get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Don't hold it up. I can play dominoes? Oh, all right, sir. Yeah. Hey, what's the guy Okay. There. No, no, no. When you make a play, you don't lay the dominoes down and go, okay, there. <laughs> you slam it down and you go, booyah! Get out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on, have a seat. You need it at table 15. Okay, I'm right on it, boss. Yes, you've got to help me. Linda wants to dance and I can't stall her much longer. Oh, Angus. <laughs> help me. All right, all right, do this. I gotta go. I know. Well, we really wanted to talk to Nate. Oh, well, I'm sorry. He's not here right now. Maybe I can help you. No, 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 I don't think so. You see, Nate brought us together, and, well, now we're getting married. And we need some advice. So you just met and you're getting married. Yeah. Don't you think you're rushing it a little bit? What, you think I'm not good enough? Oh, <laughs> great. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you trying to make a move on my lady, man? Kick <laughs> this outside. Hey, listen, man, you got the song. No, 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 no. Let's get out of here, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, wait, where you going? Where, really? where you going? Look, I only brought these guys in to meet Nate. He had a million great stories, man. I'm telling Skinny you. Skinny Chesterfield. What? <laughs> That's what you remind me of. Skinny Chesterfield. I mean, back before he got skinny when he was... Stocky Chesterfield. I'm gonna get out of here before I hurt somebody. Me too. Hey, come on, now don't go. Hey, everybody. Hey, Chelsea girl. What brings you in here tonight? We just came to have some fun. Now that I'm not working here anymore, I can relax. Hey, Nate, I want you to meet all my friends. Hey, guys, let's stick around and have some dinner. Looks like we got five people buying dinner tonight, Jeff. Yeah, Nate's really got something. People skills. Yeah. Nate, I might glad to see you. What's up, Angus? Well, my date wants to dance, but I don't know how to. What do I do? Bricks Morrison. You what? He was our roadie back in the 70s. Couldn't move to save his life. But all the women wanted to dance with him. Why? Because he had the attitude. No matter what the song was, he would get up on the dance floor and do this. together for singing, 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 boys to men. Jack Black, there's plenty of friends to come. Come on, it's everybody. Megan Scooby, you should dream about this if it's yeah, yeah, yeah. You really can't bear. I'll just dream this little way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody is singing and So let's start it and do it. Here we are. You can miss this for you. Just put it 
job out of college and I was trying so hard to impress Miss Page I just really messed everything up. I'm sorry. Don't sweat. Everybody makes mistakes. Thanks. So will you come back? No problem. My gig in 94 was getting kind of iffy. I love to. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow. No problem. Oh and just one thing Nate. Can you try to be on time? Sure. Can I borrow your watch? <laughs> you got it. Let. Peace. Mm, you sure handled that well. Thanks. I bet you didn't learn that in class, did you? You know, I learned a lot in those classes. But I still got a long way to go. Guess that's why I'm still a trainee, huh? Well, Jeff, if you keep learning about your mistakes like that, you won't be a trainee much longer, baby. You mean it? Mm-hmm. Maybe another five years. <laughs> five years. Psych. 